A young man from Ukraine is safe here in Indianapolis after fleeing Ukraine on foot. The trip was made possible by a worldwide network of people and his adoptive parents here in Indy. Our Logan Gay shares his incredible journy to America. Is, is when he's got both doors open. And he's like, Meet the Wright family. You know. Over 23 years, the Wrights have maintained loving relationships with 44 foreign exchange students from across the globe who have called the Wrights their host parents. But in 2017, one Ukrainian orphan stole their heart. The moment I saw this photo, I'm like, oh dear, I, I think this might be our son. She's talking about Anton Bez Baradov. The Wrights were hoping to adopt Anton after he stayed with them for Christmas, but they weren't able to adopt him due to Ukrainian laws. But that didn't stop them from adopting him into their hearts. They continued to support him from afar, calling him every week and providing for him financially and emotionally. We'll talk about anything and everything, you know. Yeah. You know, just everything you did this week. I want to know everything you did this week. I want to know and everything. You, did you eat enough this week? Then war broke out in Ukraine. My greatest fear through all of this was that, you know, one day I would, I would text him every morning and I would text him and then no reply. Because if, if he went to the army, if he went to the front and if he were killed, Nobody, nobody would ever know that, that, that we care for him. No one would ever know that he calls me dad. They acted fast to put together a plan. In my parental panic, I just want him out of the country. I want him away from, you know, uh, from, from the war. Anton remembers it being chaotic when he tried to flee. You, can, you could see that people are panicking, you know crying, some, you know, women are crying. Because he is a 20-year-old man who wasn't allowed to leave the country. However, thanks to a network of foreign exchange families, they were able to come up with a plan to get him across the border to Romania. But it would be a daunting journey that would require an all-night hike in freezing temperatures through a forest and across rivers to reach the border. When he was safe, he called his parents and said he was ready to come home. Through another connection, Thomas met a man who could legally get Anton across the Mexican border into San Diego. He said, Dad, I'm in America and I want to come home now. He arrived in Indy in April. After I like stepped, you know, my foot on the United States you know, ground, I was like, so, I had so, you know, so much of relief. Anton is now settled at home with his parents and his adopted brother, Limba. The right say the journey to this moment still doesn't feel real, but they wouldn't change a thing. We have wanted this for so long and part of me is just you know wanting to shout out thank you god mm -hmm. you know because my kid is home now the rights are looking for a pathway for anton to get permanent residency and citizenship they still plan to adopt him but it won't help his immigration status